I knew my predecessors, all of my predecessors, including the, um, the very founders. So I understood their ethos, which was about creating a place where people could engage no matter where they were on their personal journey from very first beginnings to the very highest professional standards of presentation. And that's been an underpinning ethos all the way through. But what happened to the organisation through the 1970s and 80s and into the 90s was that the centre became more and more flexible, or it sought to be more and more flexible, because people who engaged with us wanted to do different things and they wanted to explore different arenas and we wanted to make that possible. But we got to the point where the building wasn't sufficiently flexible anymore and it was getting worn out and we had to do something. And to not do anything was not an option because the building was really worn out, it was becoming unsafe, etc. So our vision was about creating, in a partnership with our uh, partners, uh, Sampad South Asian Arts, about creating a centre which was fit for the 21st century of Birmingham. So a centre that reflected a multicultural, actually an intercultural society. Because in a multiculture, you've got lots of lines that run parallel to each other. In an intercultural society, you're creating an environment where people can interact no matter what their background, and they start to create new vocabularies. They start to create new ways of doing things. So we wanted to create a building which respected the best of the old and improved it, but created some new transactional spaces. So you'll find in the building the ground floor is all at a flat level and the major part of that is committed to public space, which is flexible, which can be set out in all sorts of different formats and which encourage through the fact that it's all digitally enabled, through the fact that we can bring stuff in through live streaming onto screens in the public spaces, we can create little performance spaces, we can create exhibition spaces, we can create eating places, we can create all of those things at the drop of a hat, as we say. So it takes us 15 minutes to turn around a space to become something else. And that's at the heart of what we tried to imagine. And it's actually worked incredibly well. So we get huge numbers of people who come into the building because they're attracted, because it's physically attractive, it's light, it's airy, it's open. People feel good about being in there, it's colourful. But people can still um, mentally, psychologically paint it their own colour. They can make it what they will. And just by a very simple change of lighting or decor, you can create a different space. So that, that's at the heart of it. It's about that journey for every individual, no matter where they are on their personal journey, from first beginnings to international quality. They will respect someone else, no matter where they are on their personal journey. That, found, that foundation of respect is fundamental. And the other thing is about creating spaces which people can change and reflect and amend. But at the core of it is this notion of the art centre fit for the 21st century of Birmingham. And Birmingham is the youngest city in Europe, Birmingham is also the first city in the UK that will be majority non-white by 2020. That is a fundamental part of our imagining of what this place is about.